So let's take a look at the back porch and uh, we have a hot tub and barbecue area. So let's take a look at that. Okay, on the hot tub, we have these to take the cover and uh, loosen it up a little bit. Okay, uh, so the controls are over in this area. And uh, what we want to be able to do here is uh, first, uh, in order to set the temperature, we touch this very far right button. And right now it's set at 82 degrees. So if I push the button here and hold it, we see that the indicator goes up. Or if I let go and push it again, then it goes down. And if I push it to a temperature that's higher than what it is currently, then the heater will come on and heat up the water. Uh, so right now I'm going to set it for, let's say, 100 degrees. So I push it and hold it until it's going the direction I want. And there it is at 100, and I just let go. So it'll automatically continue running and heat until it gets to the 100 degrees. Okay, nothing further to do. As a rule of thumb, allow about one hour for each 10 degrees that you want it to heat. Okay, uh, it'll stay within one or two degrees of that temperature and, and go on by itself in case it drops down to 99 or 98, it'll put it back to 100 automatically. So that's the thermostat in order to get the temperature as you like it. The next button here uh, is a little light bulb and if you push it, then the light that's inside the tub will come on. So it's basically an on or an off. The last button on here is for the jets. So if I push on it, we'll see that the jets come up. Okay. Uh, when you're in the tub and it's heated properly, there's actually a couple of settings. But just by touching it and then touching it again, uh, you'll move it from one setting to another. You can lift the cover of the hot tub. And I usually set it like in this position. Uh, or you could prop it to the side. It has a little bit more privacy. Uh, Actually, it's pretty private area as it is because we uh, don't have a whole lot of traffic here. But you'll notice here, if I were to turn these little knobs here on the jets, it actually will change how much uh, force uh, air, you know comes through those jets. So this is kind of the main one down here. I kind of like this one myself. Crank it all the way open or closed. So we can adjust it. There's also some settings here on the top, which you can adjust. Again, it affects how. Uh, uh, the jets react and so we have one on either side okay all right uh, let's move over to here's the barbecue this is a gas barbecue so we can the cover and we can see it's hooked up to gas here so the knob for turning the gas on is uh, right in this area so you can turn on the gas first to get it operating and open the cover here I've left some tools out here. This is for cleaning uh, uh, to use with the barbecue. So we kind of have them handy here. And uh, we go ahead, here's the igniter button. So we want to turn the gas on uh, to get it to start into the um, uh, start position. So we turn it slightly until we hear the gas going and then go ahead and push this igniter. If for whatever reason the igniter doesn't work, you may need to get a, a match or light or something uh, to get it started. Okay, very good.